and welcome to another reaction video my name is Richard London thanks for joining me right then today heading back to Indonesia and somebody that um, I've seen a lot of videos of but I've for some reason only reacted to one don't know why hang on what's happened to me microphone there we go it's not straight oh right so Kakrakan is where we are heading to today Kakrakan and we're sort of getting into uh, December a few days away aren't we uh, about a week away from December uh, so we're getting a lot of uh, sort of Christmassy type songs they, this isn't technically a Christmas song it's um, Amazing Grace uh, so technically not a Christmas song but it's one that uh, a lot of people always tend to sing around this time of year anyway uh, I love when he does all his videos in black and white it just kind of brings it out a bit doesn't it uh, black and white videos always look so much better they really do even with all the, the technology that we've got these days in 4k and 8k and all these amazing colors you still love a good black and white video right shall we see what this is this is going to be good Amazing grace How sweet the sound Told you it would be And of course um, Now, a bit of explanation I think for this one um, Anybody out there Certainly, I know a, a, a lot of my American uh, subscribers and followers. Maybe you're not that too keyed up with um, rugby. But Amazing Grace is one of the songs that uh, the, the crowd at rugby games traditionally have sung. Um, it's always good. Yeah, you get like a crowd of 30,000, 40,000 people singing Amazing Grace typically not always in key but it's good yeah i like this one now is it going to be a full a cappella? we shall have to wait and find out that's it raised, like me i was was lost but now found was blind but now I see this is perfect for him isn't it twas grace that thought my heart to fear and grace my fears relief Did that grace appear the hour I first believed? Wow, oh, this is good. And I don't know whether you notice with his technique of singing, obviously, he's got a lot of rasp in there, but he's never stretching, is he? He's not forcing it it's um it's just something that comes naturally with his voice so he's not um if if you listen to a lot of music a lot of people that try and sing in this sort of style this technique uh they tend to force the rasp they try and add it not naturally uh you can end up pretty much ruining your voice doing a lot of damage to your voice if you do something like this but um he's in full control of the the voice and uh the vibrato and uh everything that he puts into it he's not straining his voice at all he's not going to have any problems is he it's just 
amazing how natural it comes, isn't it? And you don't really think of somebody from Indonesia having a voice like that, do you? Through many dangers, tours and snares, I have already come this grace that brought me safe thus far. And grace will lead me home And when we've been here ten thousand years Bright shining as the sun With no sing God's praise than when we first began Yeah, I've just had a thought here I know he's Indonesian but would anybody get upset or annoyed if he maybe put out something like the Star Spangled Banner very similar style of song and again typically uh, sung a cappella he could do that and he would do a really good job couldn't he um yeah i'm sure he would he he he's one of these people that can sing anything amazing how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, there we go. There we go. That Kakrakan and uh, Amazing Grace. Yes, it certainly was amazing, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, that, like I say, I'm, he, he's one of these people that could just sing anything, isn't he? Um, okay, if you enjoyed that one, remember, like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.